comes through every day. Which is me. Is you. <laughs> and bacon. <laughs> Very love the bacon. Welcome to a very special episode of Patriot Games. Our last episode in the Flinders Ooh, Rangers. Ooh, it is. It's our last We're day. celebrating with bacon. Give us your best bacon face. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm a little bit disappointed it's our last day. I don't want to go home. Yeah, I know. I get you. But you know what? I am going to have a shower today, which I'm very excited about. Um, hopefully the rain stays away so we can enjoy our last little bit of our adventure. And I think everyone's in good spirit. Nothing bad's happened. Except for yesterday. It wasn't that bad. No, it wasn't that bad. But you know what I'm going to do today? What? I'm going bugging. I'm going Polaris. Can we end it on a good note? Yeah, I'm going to end it on a good note. Today's the last day. It's the day that we can actually break stuff and that's okay. And you're going to take Nono. You're going to take your dad. Rob, you can. But what we're going to do, we're going to leave the, the girls here today. We're going to leave Belinda, Sari and Mimi here to enjoy their last day. We're going to clean out the fridges and stuff because they're getting, you know, after a trip when we, we don't stop that much. Anyway, we are at the Bendelby Ranges and another amazing location. So I actually pulled in here late last night, real late last night, and Charlie... Uh, from Bendelby Rangers was waiting there at the office for me to escort me down to the campground because he knew we had a really bad day. The black truck has decided that finally it's going to let me down on the trip. And when I say let me down, I'm not saying in the way let me down like it's not going to make it home because this girl, she never ever lets me down in that way. But yesterday she decided she needs a bit of love. We had a few issues yesterday with the, with the black truck. Let's take a flashback to yesterday and have a look at what went down. Uh, I think we've got a problem. The boys have just pulled the air filter out to give it a clean and one of the twins have picked up, there's a whole heap of oil over the back of that uh, right hand bank of the engine and the catch can's full to the brim of oil, but when I start the engine, it doesn't look like it's, it's not chuffing, like it hasn't got a heap of blow by coming out of the, out at the top, there is a little bit of pressure there though. Um, okay. Here's sign number two. There is no oil in there. So you can see there, I'm not really sure 100% what is going on. I think right now the best theory of what's actually happened to the black truck tap it cover i think that's what it is i'll open it up a little bit later on today and have a look but what i'll do is and i explained it to charlie last night what's happened we're going to take it up to the shed later on this afternoon give that engine a gurney we'll fire the thing up take it for a run get it under load we'll see exactly where the oil is coming from but i do have another plan if that doesn't work now the plan for today is we're going to get that off and then we're going to get that off and we're gonna go explore this. Now they say the four wheel driving here is about the best that you get in the Flinders Ranges. And I'm really keen to see if that's, if that's true. Let's go see the drivers for today. Ah. Christian. Ashton. Sometimes I'll get you guys confused. I wasn't sure who was who. What do you think about going Polarising? Is that even a word? Side by siding, bugging. I don't like the word buggy. Whatever we're doing today. What do you think about doing it in the rain? Let's go out riding. 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 We're going riding. That's what we're doing. We're going riding. We're going riding. Yeah. Zip on, zip on, Ashton. Riding. We just had a conversation about what we actually call it. We're riding. So it rained last night. You guys hear the rain last night or were yeah. you guys passed out? Yeah, my yeah, swag is a little bit wet. Your swag is a little bit wet. So riding in the rain today, not the best conditions, really overcast, which to be honest with you, we really planned to take the black truck out here. That's what we really wanted to do. And Dad's gonna ride Paso with me today. Boys we're gonna trip. we're gonna take out the XP Pro. Six. What about you, Mimi? What are you gonna do today, you little marshmallow? Have a shower. You gonna have a shower today? Yeah. You should probably have a shower because I can smell you from here. <laughs> I can't really smell you from here. How cute does she look? All right, follow us through. Bendelby Rangers. We got the barbecue going. We're gonna get some bacon and eggs in this. Boys trip. Boys trip. Boys trip. Boys trip to finish the day yep. right here in the Flinders Rangers.
Yep. Now that goes across there. Yep. Once they're adjusted, once you're there, adjust them again. No, I get that. Everything just clips in, you know? Cool. And obviously that, don't let go of that yep. ever. Yep. If we're gonna, if we're gonna, can you reach that all right? Because yep. this is just two. So if we're ever gonna go over, just don't let go. Yep. Hold on to that or hold on to your belt like of the course. truck. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. All right. Excellent. Oh, I'm feeling good. Excited. Like going on a, on a adventure ride. Bendelby station is actually a working uh, sheep station and there is sheep everywhere. Now the sheep are lambing at the moment. Dad, did you see all those lambs? How cool are they? So cute. So what we're going to have to do, I think, this afternoon, we're going to have to make the time to get Mia. You've got to bring Mia down. It's a must. Oi, what do you think of the property? Good no. fun. <laughs> Look at the smile on their faces. I could see them in my rear view mirror just sliding the hell out of that thing. <laughs> Be careful, yeah. or don't be careful, whatever, just have some fun. I'm so keen to check this joint out, let's keep moving. Morning mate. How you going? Good, how you doing? This is Charlie from Bendelby Station. Mate, thanks for having us on the station. We really appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. No, tell, tell us a bit about the property, man. Uh, we occupy about 50,000 acres. Yeah. Up to 5,000 sheep, Yeah. when times are good. Yep. Yeah, cool. Well, it's actually a buddy of mine, Ronnie Dahl, who was out here a little while ago. Were you with him when he was out? I wasn't here at the time, yeah. yeah. He yeah. put me onto the joint. So he told me this is the best four wheel driving out in the Flinders. So today we're going to find out whether it actually holds should, up to that. Should be. Yeah. And look, it's a little bit misty grey. It's not yeah. the best of weather, but um, yeah. it'll make for good driving. Definitely. Yeah. If you, came, if you came here to Bendelwyn, you had to do three tracks. Uh, well, for guys like you, yeah. extreme. Yeah. So Billy Goat Ridge, yep. Pat's Peak, yep. and maybe we'll hit the summit on our Hungry Highway. Okay. Uh, not really highway. Yep. But a uh, good bit of fun to get up there too. Okay. Awesome. So that, that's the the aim for today. Yep. All right. Well, let's have a play around. What we're going to do? We're going to have a play around in here. So there's this little like fun park in here. There's some big mounds, some hill climbs. Now we've been told that we can tear it up in here. Yep. You can give it a go. Yep. Um, we might get Dad in, in the driver's seat. I might take him for a lap around, um, show him around, show him what these uh, Polaris is capable of. You'll get to see what these things are capable of, and then we'll go out and we'll hit some tracks. It is freezing cold. It is raining. It is the perfect weather to be in a side by side. Eh? I guess so. this this is the day <laughs> for it. All right, let's get this day started. All right, so a uh, little testing ground. So obviously, for people who come out here uh, for wheel driving, you can have a little bit of a muck around. Um, down in here before you go out into the tracks and really see what your car's capable of. What I'm going to use this opportunity for is to show you what these things are capable of. Looking forward to it. So hill climbs and these things in the low range, locked in four wheel drive, like there is, I don't think I've really found much that can stop one of these. So like Stuff that you just cannot do in a four wheel drive, um, these things here just absolutely eat them up. So we'll just roll a couple of these smaller ones here. So boys, you came to have a little muck around in here? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome! Do you want to winch back? Alright, the Patriot Recovery Crew is here. 
No, let's let's guy let's guy get this little thing recovered. Patriot recovery number one. <laughs> That's what we just got here. I oh, know. We just I, got here. I, He's in rear wheel drive. He's got, no, he's got no front drive shaft. So, yeah. I think he's got a little bit crossed up there. I've got a bit excited from the bottom, to be perfectly honest with you. It looked a bad ass. He had one wheel up in there. It looked pretty cool. So, hopefully, we don't do none of that. Good? Thanks for that. No worries. Send you the bill. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's have a muck around, eh? All right, first things first. Two wheel drive. We'll do a little bit of drifting. Let's do it. A little bit of sliding around, just to get the momentum, just to get all the, everything kind of working, yeah? Then we're going to four wheel drive, we'll go do some hill climbs. All right, here we go. It's only a matter of time. That was bound to happen. That's a shame. Oh, that was bound to happen. Yeah. Dad? Yeah, I'm fine. Just... Oh, I just said it. Just get it back over so we can get the oil back out of it. Yeah. Guys, you good, Dad? Oops, there's always one idiot, and that was me. Hey, Dad, do you want to have a drive now? Let's talk together, let's do it. She's all good. I'll try and get the other side. We're under really controlled conditions. I had to roll it with my dad in there, did I not? What an idiot, I'm getting really no. good at rolling these things, aren't you? You actually get out of the Yeah. Let's go. Let's oh, it's all in good fun. All right, you can give this a go? Absolutely. Yeah. Are Let's you going to do, do what the boys have been doing? You're going to do some circle work? We'll give it a go, hey. Trouble. Cool. But what you can do, if you want, try them both. Hey, and fine. see what you think. Do some hill climbs and that, and yeah, roll around all that sort of stuff. Just go for it, have a blast. Yeah? Quite excited, actually. This is going to be fun. Fun, fun, fun.
Yeah? yeah. Big fun. Yeah. That looked awesome. What do you reckon we go do some full driving now? Yeah. Right. Everyone's got that out of their system. You know what? I got out of my system. I appreciate what you do a lot more now. You like that? I love that. It's good fun, eh? Oh. So much, so much fun. Well, I think it's time to go hit the tracks. Let's go full driving. Yeah. Let's do it. Roll out of here and let's go see what these um what these tracks here are all about. Yeah, right. Don't get too comfy in there. I'm driving. Yeah, okay. <laughs> all right. Let's roll. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Dude. Oh my god, where did that come from? What a surprise. Where did that even come from? We were just rolling up, like just cruising. Oh my god, I've got to get out and have a look. Have a look at this. Check this out. So we're at a spot called King's Ridge. And we've literally just done this really easy climb up the bottom of the valley and then just this one last steep hill up here and come up over the top. Boys, come down here. Oh my god. I'm blown away because I just didn't I didn't expect it. Like I had no idea. Like we were cruising up and it was just a slow cruise. We had the beats pumping, yeah. listen to a bit of post rolling up and then we just come up the hill over the top and it was just like just like smack, look at this valley. Oh my God. Yanni. Come over here, sick boy. We got another sick kid now. So little Mimi's back there, sick. You all right over there? You okay, buddy? You all right? Uh, it's mental. Uh, whoa. What do you reckon, Rob? Oh my Lord, what a place. No matter where you look. Didn't see that coming, eh? I didn't, I didn't expect it. That is there's a magnificent scene behind us that we weren't looking at. Dude, I had no idea. Come up here, come up, quickly run up here. Let's go and have a look. So you got bits of light coming through, you got all this grey, little bit of rain, it's freezing cold, it's dark, it's kind of, I don't know, a little bit gloomy. You could be anywhere in the world. This is just absolutely spectacular. It's no matter where you look. There's another ridge up there, and there's another ridge up there too, so I think today is going to be a pretty epic day. We made it. Oh, yeah, we did. So we've just done the loop around to get to this spot. We are here at Billy Gates Bluff, and this is what we came here to see. This is exactly what we came here to see. Now, right behind me, we'll show you in just a second. This is where it's about to get wild. You guys pumped? How are you feeling? I'm okay. General's feeling good. Yeah. Does it feel as sure-footed as a Billy Gun? Oh yeah, yeah. That was the worst dad joke I think I've actually ever made. So let's have a look at what's going on behind me here. Um, you can see this track goes all the way up to that ridge top up here and this is where I've heard that it starts to get really gnarly. Now you've got a lot of shaley stuff going through at the start and then at the top there you can see there's all massive big rocks, there's boulders, step ups, ledges, all that sort of stuff. Oh, I think this is going to be exactly what we bought the Polaris for. Yes. How you feeling, Rob? <laughs> is that exactly what you bought me for? How's the ticker? 
Oh, mate, it's working at 100% at the moment. <laughs> it has no choice. The, the ticket's going good. I, th I think it's going to start getting a bit hairy about now. But, look, we'll see. We'll see how we go. I don't really know what to expect, but I have heard that this is one of the hardest four-wheel drive tracks in the Flinders. And this is what we have come to say. This is what we've been looking for yes. for the past kind of five days, isn't it? Mm -hmm. A bit tight, big boy. <laughs> hey, the adrenaline's going to be pumping in a minute. Who's driving it? Are you gonna drive it? Yeah, I'm driving. How come you're always driving? Because I'm just, I'm just, I don't know. Like I, I just what? drive. I've been driving the whole time. So. Well, no, you've been rolling the black truck the whole time. Yeah, he only wants to like to drive in these things. He doesn't like want to you know, touch, touch the lane cruiser. You'll turn into a Nissan. Yeah. <laughs> is that what you'll feel like? Which is good. You probably shouldn't be in. You shouldn't let him in that Land Cruiser anymore, anyway, don't yeah, you? Know why it's like trying, you know why it's starting to leak oil, eh? Him. Yeah, him. It's just been, a bad omen. it's Which constantly it's, been it's getting like, it's terrified of a fudge troll. A TD is an amazing, like, boat anchor. Like, just hang <laughs> off the front. Like, just. Okay, let's, well, we're going to cut that out now. We just lost half of our subscribers. <laughs> and the cameraman's shaking his head right now because he actually drives a patrol. Look, we don't hate you. We just, we would prefer that you came up to the new age. And no, the new uh, uh, no, 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 no. He has taste. He hasn't taste. He has no taste. All right, can, we, can we stop talking about patrols anyway? It's starting to make me feel sick. <laughs> <laughs> let's fire up the Polaris's and let's let's get up Billy Gates. Let's see what this thing is all about. I wish we had the black truck here. Uh, how do we even like, get into that conversation? I don't know. Come yeah, on. like, you know, like big hardcore like, four-wheel drive track Polaris's. Yeah, TD42. <laughs> Oh, actually, I feel like a cup of coffee. We should have bought a picture of it. <laughs> right, you ready? I'm ready. It's going to be fun, I think. Exciting, that's for sure. From what I can see here, boys, it's going to be pretty gnarly, eh? Yeah, mate. Whatever, Dad. How confident are they? Just don't care. That's Nothing to so lose. So chilled. All right, low range, low range. Yeah. What we got? Probably need that. All right, let's go.
I just saw you pick a wheel up in the rear view camera. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Did you take the same line I did? Sure did. Yeah. How good's that? So good. So I actually just said to Dad, yeah, if I was in my, say if I was in the black truck, right, for example, and I'd say the black truck would go up there, but it would go up there on a different line. The ram, long wheelbase, no lockers, mm, it'd be pretty hairy, but you get it up there. So we're trying to pick the hardest lines. Like, where would I not drive if I was in my four-wheel drive? And they just walk, eh? You Incredible. know? Incredible. We lost a Incredible. bit of traction down there, though. Yeah, but, wow, what do yeah. you expect on yeah. a hill like that, on a rock that size? Big boulders and that, and that's what you got to look out for when you do... You see, when I punched it, look, momentum's your friend in these types of things. Like, obviously, if you start spinning the wheels, I just gave it a bit to try and pull it straight and pull it up the hill. But you've got to be careful sometimes. If you don't commit to that, you can lose the back end or equally lose the front end and you end up sideways. Worst case, you can end up uh, barreling back down. Um, but these things are just incredible. The view up here, spectacular. Can't wait to get to the top. Uh, we're only, I don't think we're even halfway up this, um, up this track yet, so let's keep on moving. We came to the Flinders for. That's exactly what we came here for. I've got to be honest and say, I'm really, really disappointed 
that the black truck ain't going, eh? Because I tell you right now, I promise you, I would go straight back to camp, I would get that black truck, and I'll get those boys walking it up there without Sarah being here, uh, obviously. It's not as dangerous as where we were the other day where we pulled out. The mountains are kind of shallow on either side, but that big holes, massive rocks, wheels lifting, even the Polaris. We picked up the wheels in the Polaris a couple of times, which never happened. Um, come and see these kiddos. How was that? That was awesome. That was, if you're coming to the Flinders and you're coming to the Flinders to go four-wheel driving, this is destination number one. I want to say that right now from what we've seen anyway. So I haven't seen the whole of the Flinders, don't get me wrong. But where we've been all of this trip, that's what we come here for, right? And so cool doing in the Polaris. How'd the little general go? Oh, it went so good. Just, I love it. It's, just, so, it's so awesome. It's just awesome. loved it. We're going to go have a look at another one called Pat's Peak over the back. I'm not sure whether it's any easier or any harder. But if it's like that, it's going to be a nice way to finish the, the trip, eh? Can't oh, yeah. be any harder. I feel, you know what I feel like? I feel like we finally, <laughs> we finally got some proper four-wheel driving in the Flinders. But it wasn't just a whole getaway series of epic, big, beautiful shots, which is nice. We love to show you guys that and love to show you guys, um, you know, Australia. And it's all about the touring for us. But to, you know, to get picking up wheels and wheels spinning and climb stuff like that, that's, that's what makes it fun, eh? That, you know was so much fun. that was sick. That was sick, boys. You like that, Dad? That was good. Son. That was that awesome. Was All right. Let's get to Pat's Peak. Let's go and have a look. Awesome. I think that's the last ridge up there, mate. We'll get up to that top of that ridge. We won't even stop that rain setting in now, man. We'll just get straight down the bottom and get back to camp for some lunch, huh? Yes, yeah, perfect. Sick day, boys. Sick day. Sick day,
Flinders, make sure you get out to Bendleby. This on a sunny day would just be insane. You had a good day, Dad? Oh, I've had a fabulous day. The scenery, spectacular. Keen for lunch? Oh, I'm keen for the lunch now. All right, let's get back to the campfire, get back to lunch, go see the girls. I told you that the Mad Rig was coming down, and Off Grid Outfitters are here as well. This is how we're going to end our Flinders expedition. Can, you two coming can in. Can make an entrance. Can make an entrance, pumping the butt mates. How's, how's the trip been? Where have you been? Oh, Where'd you go? Everywhere. Everywhere. Oh, uh, Red Set, we've done Uluru, yep. Kings Canyon, yep. West McDonald Rangers, Flinders. down through the Uluru Data Track. Yeah, yeah it had, the, it had the kids like a rock. Awesome. Loved it. Awesome. Yeah. We had awesome Loved it. weather and then it, it rained the day after we there. They had all water yeah. coming off the rock and everything. No way. Awesome. That was cool. Well, this is how we're going to end this trip. And I told you the whole team was going to get back together. We have had a monumental day. How was today, Dad? Today one of the best days ever. Oh, it was it was <laughs> unbelievable. We actually drove, physically drove into a cloud. We went up this ridge and we had the drone up above us. And the camera crew come on and was like, white out, drone's gone. And we drove yeah. into this cloud. It was just... If you can get up there, go up yeah, and see yeah, that yeah. Billy Goat Ridge and all the rest of it. Yep. Yeah. We're going to shut this down for a couple of hours because I think I need to do what you two are doing. Yeah. Maybe. Does, no one got to <laughs> Does somebody? What is? What is this amateur stuff? Here we go. Lunch time with the crew. We might come back to you later on the in the afternoon. I'll be a little bit razy. Ooh. Boom. <laughs> Hang on. No, no. Here, seriously. Drop a knee. <laughs> <laughs> Drop a knee. Here we go. Now it's a party. Get down there. We're on the boom. You had it here first. The Flinders Ranges has never been on my mind as somewhere that I've wanted to go to, but now coming and seeing this country and seeing why everyone has always wanted to come here, I can see why. And I think that's the same for all of us, that this country is epic. Christian Ashton and Mia touring Australia in the black truck behind you and me. And the confidence. So after this trip, I think it's normal now. I think it's like, it's the next phase of, yeah. of Patriot campers, the next phase so cool. of Patriot games, the next phase of Patriot yeah. life, that it's it's Christian Ash and the mayor, and whatever happens from here, it's them in the black truck, you know what I mean? And they own I don't, it. We had our experience with that car. We 100% have, like we have that many memories, mm. and now the kids get to have those memories as well, but we get to see them as well, having yeah. those memories, it's like insane. Yep. The Linders ranges have been a lot more than I really expected. I've never really heard of out of these ranges or really ever wanted to go like down south. I'm more, I'm more of a north like, kind of person, but being here and, and the cold, it just makes it like way more fun, way more interesting. Like the scenery is amazing here and yeah, it's been really, really good. It's been really fun just camping with the family. Um, well, my like favourite moment would, would pretty much have to be going in like a track that was 11 k's long. I I had a look at it on each trip on and It took us what eight nine hours, and just when you did get up like to the, like the top of that peak, it was just perfect what like, you like saw. Everything just became worth it. Like, yeah, it was, all, of, like, it was all worth it. And the issues we had, it was just worth yeah, it. yeah. 
today and yesterday, just spending time in the general and the razor, just ripping it up in the f in the ranges. The amount of places that we've been able to go with them that would take either way longer or be way harder with a normal car. It's just been allowing us to see more of the Flinders ranges in a more time manageable setting. So peak definitely today and yesterday with the razor and the general just ripping it up. Being in South Australia, like, like we've never done this and the different terrain and stuff, I think we're all talking about Mongolia, USA, yeah. everything, because the terrain changed so much. Everything. So I think it really brought everyone in on every trip that we've ever done. And just, yeah, like we'd sit around the campfire and chat about old trips and things that we've done because this terrain is completely different. To I, I actually I actually think I need right now, I, I need to make an apology for every time that I've ever said, you can't do this in Australia because oh. there's nothing you can't do in Australia. There's we've nowhere, gone around the world. Everything that we've ever experienced touring, yep. we've experienced bits of it, parts of it, not exactly the same, but little reminiscence of, of this feels like this, or yeah. this feels like this, or that feels like that. It's all here, and it's right here in South Australia in our own country. And we always chase the heat. I think that's why we've never done this before. Mm. Like, I would literally rug up and do this tenfold. It, it adds to it's it. It's amazing. It makes it look. Amazing. It, 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 it adds, the weather here is added to the trip. If it was oh. bright sunny days, and the rain wasn't blowing in, and it wasn't gusting 40 knots, and it wasn't freezing cold, we may as you well know, go north. You know what you want though? Like you're just waiting for the snowflakes. I would come back a million times. Every Australian, every Australian, put it on your bucket list. Bucket list. Put it on the top of your bucket list. Come to the Flinders because it will be everything that you that you want it to be and then some. Yeah. are definitely looking forward to our next trip now that Ashmi can can drive and keep up with with dad and not have to roll in a back seat with him having our own car doing our own thing so much more fun yeah what makes rolling with Ashmi and me better than um, dad uh i don't know we kind of we all talk a bit more and listen yeah. to beats <laughs> yeah beats and we've been listening to a lot of Mm -hmm. Podcast, eh? Yeah. How have you been finding those? Fun? Fun. Good? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Having Dad here, like three generations of our family out doing what our family does best, oh. there is no way I would have it any other way. And think about the experience that our kids have. Oh. Spending, with their nonno. Spending the yeah. time with their nonno. With, with my old man. Yeah. Don't remember it. Don't, you, I'll remember that forever. My old man taught me everything that I know, right? I am the man, he's the man that made me. I, I am the man. The other half. <laughs> you, ta you taught me, oh, maybe, maybe the other half. But he is the man that made me, and he's the man that he's carved, a man. carved yeah. me into the person I am today. And now my kids get a part of yeah. the guy that made their dad. Like it's <laughs> mind blowing stuff. So now, look, now the trip's over. I think the Flinders Rangers has um, exceeded any expectation. I don't know whether it's, I don't know whether it's because we didn't do the research or because we feel like we've seen so much that Australia has to offer and even overseas has to offer. I think South Australia has so much to offer, but look, at the end of the day, the, the destination always has been and always will be a part of the journey. Yeah. You know, it's the journey of wherever our products can take us. And this is what this is what Patriot does best. This is what we've always done best. We actually believe in every product that we manufacture. 100%. In every product we sell and every dream that we sell a customer 
is all about Patriot life. Okay. Patriot life is about what we've experienced at this time here in the Flinders Ranges. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it could be any clearer than when our crew turned up here this afternoon. Because for us, it's been about us for the past six or seven days. Yeah. But then when the Mad Rig turn up. Oh, it's just. My yeah. old man's here with us. Ryan from Off Grid turns up. And it's, it's just a similar bunch of people experiencing a similar amount of things. But we're all chasing something that you can't put into words. No, you can't. This is what Patriot Life is all about. 100%, yeah. It's been amazing. A massive, massive shout out has to go to everybody in the Flinders Ranges, from Arkarula to Willow Springs, and the hospitality we've experienced here at Bendleby Ranges. I would have never have thought in a million years that we would have been received the way that our family's been received. Beautiful, you know, like red carpet, like they looked after us 100%. I can tell you right now, South Australia will turn it on when you come to the Flinders Ranges. I would definitely put it right to the top for anybody that wants to go touring. Patriot Life applies to everybody who loves to tour and see the country the same way that we want to see it. Come to the Flinders Ranges. about it. We're like 500 kilometres away from home. I finally found it. I found the, I just found the oil leak. So we've been checking every couple of hundred k's. I've been watching it. It hasn't used any oil. I don't know whether you actually give me the camera and I'll see if I can show you guys in here. I don't know whether you can see in there there's like a banjo fitting there and there's an oil line that wraps right around and it goes into the back of the head there. You can see oil's just starting to come all across here. I'm just going to try and nip that fitting up. I found what the issue is. And I did say it, I thought it was something really, really small. It's taken us, uh, taken us this long uh, under load to be able to find it. But there you go, there you have it, the black truck. It's not die situation. The big girl's gonna make it up. Problem fixed.